This mountain changed my life forever too and also the lives of the Sherpa people. The worst disaster in the mountain's history occurred in the spring of 1996 where a total of 14 climbers died. It was during this time I learned a lesson in life, death, the value of Buddhism, reconnecting with my Sherpa roots and most importantly reconnecting with my father. We are at about 16,000 feet where I am at this place. We call it the Nupse Sheraton Hotel. Not much of a hotel, but uh, a nice fire inside, you know, cuddled up in a sleeping bag, sipping a cup of tea or soup, you know, certainly beats being out in the tent by yourself. You know, in 96, we had over 200 yaks that carried our supplies to base camp. And in 1953, during my father's time, they had over 500 porters that carried the supplies and they were kept two days apart, broken in, you know, half groups of two and then kept two days apart because there would be too many people, you know, walking on the trail in one day. And they had 15 people carrying these boxes full of money, you know, to pay all these 500 porters for the, for the one month. And then they had two people guarding each one of these 15 people to make sure that they did not run away with the money. At this time, to help to give back to the community, to the people that, to the Sherpa people and the people that lived in the shoulders of the Himalayas. You know, climbing with right motivation, climbing with respect, respecting the culture, the environment, the people, the mountain, and working together as a team is what I learned while following my father's footsteps. You know, mountaineering is a tough adventure. It's just like working in a corporation. You never know what's around the corner. You know, it is important to have a sense of commitment to each other and self-reliance to the group. You know, the foundation for achieving success in any goal must be driven by an inner desire and passion. You know, getting to the top of this mountain was not the end of my goal. It was just the beginning. We have to set ourselves to new challenges and not be afraid to dream of new ideas because it's the next challenge that motivates and inspires us. You know, it is important to be good citizens and team players, but above all, you need to be passionate and you need to have the drive to achieve, you know, you have the burning desire to achieve your goals. I'd like to leave you with something my father always told me. He said, be a leader, be a guide, guide your clients and accomplish your goals despite the hardships. But above all, be great, make others great. Thank you.